Double busy, do do do, getting busy, do 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 do. Yo yo yo, what's up? What's up? It's me. It's me, the double busy. Hey, here we are back as Sultan Yahya the Second, Ibn Ishmael of the Nunayid Sultanate. You can see our borders have blobbed a little bit. Emir Abd Al Malik has conquered a couple counties, and we conquered a county. But before I talk about that, lifestyle. I went ahead and got tax man so we could get some more taxes. And given our old age, I decided it was time to focus on my health. So I'm going to be focusing on whole of body for the near future. I am 61 years old, after all, in the year 1074. Over the years, I've had several daughters. But I do have a newborn son, Yusuf. Unfortunately, he's a sickly little boy and has little hope of surviving. My son Ishmael foolishly went on a conquest of Cuellar, taking on the king of Castile, King Sancho. As you can see, King Sancho has become much more powerful since defeating his brother in Galicia. In order to protect him, I had to declare an early war on Soria. I did not want to, since people are upset at me about the offensive wars, including my own son. But I was successful, was able to increase my borders, and was able to protect my son's life so he was not captured or killed in battle. He was wounded, but he has since recovered. During that conquest, I was able to capture a very important commander, Rodrigo de Vivar, the Campeador, as he is called, the champion. I was able to convince him to start attending mosque services with the Muwaladi people, and he is now one of my greatest knights and commanders. I have assured him that most of our battles during his lifetime will be against Muwaladis. I believe I can trust him, and I believe he will be very brave in battle. He keeps a calm head about him, and I believe that's why he is such an excellent martial commander. I have considered converting to the Ashari faith, since it is so strong. I know that at some point in the future, there will be religious wars between the Catholics, the Orthodox, and the Ashari. I'm not sure if converting will help to protect me by having more allies, or if it will turn me into a target for conquest and crusading. I am also considering moving my capital to Cordoba. The Great Mosque of Cordoba is there, and it would certainly improve my tax income, my levy and tax size, the development growth, and will help the renown of my dynasty. I have an opportunity to damage my rival and his lands. But, being a compassionate man, I will make sure that this woman has a dignified burial. Now that absolute control has been established in Cordoba, I will move my capital here. Unfortunately, Sheikh Yahaf controls the other counties within the duchy. We'll have to see what I'm able to do about that in the future. In order to further sway Rodrigo to stay in my employ, I have granted him the Sheikdom of Soria. It seems as though most of my future opponents have employed some sort of horsemen, whether it be armored horsemen, light horsemen, or caballeros. Maybe some light footmen or armored footmen here and there, but nothing to worry about. So in that case, for men at arms, I shall create pikemen to counter their cavalry. As a special gift to my son and future ruler of our lands, I am building farms and fields, crop fields in fact, in Cordoba for him. I plan on rearranging my realm shortly before my death in order to consolidate the Duchy of Cordoba. So I will spend what money I have to undertake the Hajj. I have waited this for my entire life. I will also increase my realm authority to be able to revoke titles for the counties that I have claims on. After my long journey, I arrived at Mecca, ready to complete the Hajj. I walked seven times around the Kaaba, touching the black stone on each circuit. I prayed at the place of Abraham, drunk water from the Zamzam well, walked between Safa and Mawa seven times, and sacrificed to Allah. The next rite I must complete is to cut my hair. Traditionally, men shave all of it off. Dispensation is occasionally granted to cut off only part, and women are restricted to just a lock. Well, I am no woman, so shave it all off. The end of this year's Hajj draws near. After two days of Rami al Jamarat, or the stoning of the devil, I'm ready to complete the final ritual of Tawaf al and say farewell 
to Mecca. May I see your walls once again. So I gain, gain the trait Haji, increasing piety and faith opinion, and gain faith opinion from display of submission. As Sheikh Yahaf died recently of old age, I see an opportunity to take back the lands from his children who are much too young to be ruling. First, I will start with the two-year-old. Garcia is mad, but he has allowed me to take the lands. Next, eight-year-old Saad. Unfortunately, he wants to fight. Well, if there's one thing we're good at, it's capturing prisoners. And in this case, prisoners worthy of becoming a Fares. Sheikh Saad is defeated in my prison, and now I may revoke the title that belongs to me. In order to manage all of these lands, I need Sophia's help, so I'll make her my primary spouse. And now I will ask her to help me manage my domain. Since Sheikh Abdullah is a good steward, I'll essentially let him off with a warning. He can ransom his way out, and then since I have no interest in the Duchy of Granada, he may have it. Yusuf was no longer a sickly little boy, and now he was growing strong. Waylai Raf used his hook on me to prevent me from assigning Amir Abdallah as my steward. So, since he is simply a Waylai, I will revoke his title without any problems. And now I can assign Abdallah as my steward. Ooh. I am not quite illustrious, definitely not close to Paragon of Virtue, but I can conquer three counties by pressing Sheikh Yusuf's claims. Well, as always, good at capturing prisoners. After two quick sieges and a lot of prisoners, those three counties now belong to our realm. Thanks to my level of devotion, I'm able to found a holy order. However, all of the headquarter choices are Wileas, or cities. I think I'll go with something here in Cordoba, either Pedros or Cantillana. Let's go for Pedros. Grandmaster Abdul Rahman. Whoa! He is quite the theologian. My son has been bugging me lately, saying he can manage another holding. So I'll go ahead and press his claim for Alarcon. Alright, so Barcelona has declared war on me for the Sheikdom of Tarragona. And they're going to outnumber me, but I'm going to have to whittle them down a little bit at a time and not let them amass all their troops all at once. Having completed the Siege of Mercia, I'm able to enforce my demands. And now I can focus my efforts completely on Barcelona and allies. Well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's capturing valuable prisoners. I drew them into the hills and then raised a mercenary army along with my holy order to finish them off. The Battle of Prades. By finishing the Siege of Yeida, I was able to avoid another conflict. Emir Abdullah is one of my powerful vassals. So, I'm going to have to either marry him to one of my daughters to make him an ally, or possibly retract some of his titles and give them to Emir Ahmad. I cannot bear to revoke any of the vassals. Even though he's only three years old, it is not just to do so. So instead, I will arrange a marriage with one of my daughters. And hopefully that will form the alliance needed to improve his opinion. Really the opinion of his caretakers. Alliance formed. Excellent. In order to give my grand some experience, I will make him the Sheikh of Madrid. And now the conquest of Barcelona. Well, once again, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's capturing valuable prisoners. I think I'll go ahead and 
Ransom his son for a week hook, and then finish the war. And just in time, too. I have made Kadia my primary wife again because of her diplomacy skills and my attempt to sway Sheikh Muyahid to become a vassal. He's Excellent work, my lady. It is time to make amends with my rival, Muhammad. I will offer him my daughter as his ward. I have sent him a gift, and my wife is attempting to sway him in an attempt to get him to accept vassalage. And now for the Emirate of Badajoz. Well, apparently I didn't realize that the Aftasids were allied with the Almoravids, so I had to spend a bunch of money on mercenaries. But, here we go! Alright, and that ends the war. Since I can't handle the Duchy of Badajoz by myself, I'm going to go ahead and grant it to my son, even though he's only 8 years old. So I'll get him married to Princess Tarifa bint Abu Bakar of the Almoravid Grand Emirate. And then I'll grant him those titles upon the marriage. And now Rodrigo has been such a good soldier that I'm going to declare a holy war for the Duchy of Castile. And now I can enforce my demands on the Duchy of Castile. Disband the troops, including the mercenaries, and start giving those titles over to Rodrigo. There we go. Alright, I think that's it for this episode. Looking good. Double busy, do do do, getting busy, do 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 do.